Hi everybody, this is Paula Smith. Uh, I come down to the barn. I call it a barn. King calls it a shop. But um, I, I wanted to show somebody or show some people some something that I learned several years ago that's so very important, especially in the wintertime months, about taking care of your boat. Um, almost. Anyway, there's there's my boat. And uh, you've got to take care of your your boat, your equipment, everything everything about your boat. It's important to take care of it in the winter time. Of course, this is late in the winter to be doing, but uh, I was out yesterday on the water, and of course, I've got it plugged in, charged. Um, all the cans junk, but uh, this is something that. Uh, Ken showed me, and, and the, he showed me this many years ago, and I don't know that everybody knows this. Everybody probably knows it, and I was the last one to know. But um, it is so important when you when you uh, <clears throat> when you get out of the water and you hook up to your boat and you know pull up your ramp, and if, you know there's there's not a lot of people waiting if it's a single ramp. There's hardly nobody there or anywhere on the ramp, uh, when you pull out, you know, and you, you raise your motor, I'm going to swap it over, uh, when you raise, well, turn this sucker back around, when you raise your motor for it to drain, you know, you've got it up. You want all this water to drain out of here. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's very important. Uh, summer, winter, fall, very, very important. But in the wintertime, it is key that when you are on a downhill slope, especially, lower that motor all the way. Reason being... There's still going to be water down here in this prop. When you lower it, move any. When you lower it like that, it lets all the water drain out of this portion, out of your prop. And that well, Vinny's got to investigate. But if you don't, then the water that drained from the top is still going to be down here in the in this part, and it will freeze and it will tear up your prop. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't afford to. Uh, I can't afford to buy a new prop every year, but uh, I thought that was a cute little tip to show people, and you probably already know, you know, and I might be doing it wrong compared to some. All right, let me get this going. You know, it, it's just important to uh, make sure you get drain all the water out of your motor because you sure don't want to have to buy one of these uh, every year. You know, and do a, do a thorough walkthrough. Make sure your drain plug's pulled out and make sure it's put in before you launch. I've been guilty of uh, launching with the drain plug out, and I did get back to the ramp in a quick hurry. But... Uh, Make sure your batteries are always charged. You know, that's something Ken always makes sure before I head out on a trip. When I come back from a fishing trip, we always hook up the chargers. Make sure my batteries are charged. Check your tires. Check check everything. I mean, it's important. You're, you know, this is your, I mean, I'm not going to say it's your living, but uh, <clears throat> it is something that you enjoy doing. And uh, and you want to you want to take care of of what you're paying your hard earned money for. Uh, Benny's found in some ice. But anyway, my boat gets to stay in the in the barn. Ken boats right out there. <laughs> but uh, I also wanted to show y'all this. I don't know if you can see it. I, I probably have to turn sideways. But you see the canoe. Ken made that canoe by hand. Uh, nobody's allowed to paddle the canoe but Ken, and that's okay with me. But we, we got junk everywhere. 
I don't know if everybody else's barn looks like this or shop or whatever, but this is this is a toy that uh, Ken's son's souping up, and uh, maybe he'll let us ride it. And uh, I think he's getting it. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, modified to where he can do more than it's supposed to do. We ain't totally with him with uh, on that because I hate to see him get hurt, but hey, he works hard, and I guess it's his money to spend, but it'll be sharp when he gets done. But uh, there's his canoe. He's, he's so proud of his canoe, and I'm proud of it. I mean, that took a lot of hard work. I'll try to get up under here where he's got the seats, and he's got to redo it. He even talked, he said something the other day about uh, about making another one. I wished he would because it's it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to uh, I wanted to show everybody that little, I mean, I, I call it a trick, but... Uh, I mean, it can be a lifesaver when it comes to your prop. And some people don't. Uh, and I just thought I would get on here and, and throw my little hint for the day. It's a beautiful day outside here in Tennessee. It's, uh, the wind ain't blowing. Naturally, I went fishing yesterday and the wind whipped us all over the place. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to 60. And... Uh, Sun's a shining. You coming home, Vinny? Come on, let's go. You may throw your rock. But um, if it's pretty where y'all are at today, you should get out, get outside, enjoy this beautiful weather God made for us. I think Vinny and I are going to take us a little stroll. We're going to walk down to the creek, which is, not, I don't know, it's probably a half a mile beautiful creek it runs into the um into the bay at uh, kentucky lake um right at the mouth of tennessee river where i caught my 88 and uh uh oh vinny's investigating no he's not he's using the bathroom he has no shame it's about time to break the garden up we're getting so excited for for spring to be here march best fishing month for me i don't know uh it's been a good winter for me all together fishing not all winter but at least the last couple of weeks uh i don't know if y'all can see we live way out in the middle of nowhere surrounded by hills <laughs> and uh there's where we put our garden in Let's see if i can zoom in there's where we put our garden in. We had an apple tree die. And then I've got some more apple trees, a pear tree, a cherry tree, and then the patio. And uh, this is the this is the this is the field we keep the pony in. But now the kids bought a farm, I guess we'll be keeping I tried to call Ken into getting me a baby calf to bottle feed. I don't know if he'll do it. You don't have time. But I figure I could make some time. But uh, anyway, there's the house. We live, we live in a holler, surrounded by nothing but woods. But we love it. But anyway, I hope that little tip helped some people, uh, especially women, if you're getting involved in, in, in boating and uh in the winter time that is a lifesaver because you know that could run into a lot of money um i'm looking around to see if i see any the creatures i went over to my i'm gonna show y'all our patio what me and ken built this all by hand uh it started out as a little bitty project and it turned out to be a major project and I've got like a seven layer waterfall and got a lot of work to do in the winter time it looks awful but uh I don't know if a lot of people know what that is that is a it's called the cist, cist, cistern I can't pronounce it right that's what they used to grind the corn to make cornmeal 
and that is a Japanese uh, maple tree that I got Ken, I had a Mustang, and it fit, at that time, it fit in the trunk of that Mustang, and now it is outgrown a lot of things. Ken thinks we're going to have to somehow separate the two, and I don't, he's not going to kill my tree, and he says I'm not going to kill his little rock here, but uh, I made a little pond that, uh, you can see the size of it that we sit out in the summertime. We got a fire pit and we watch the deer. I, about right there, where you little to the right of that cedar tree is where I put my corn out to feed my uh, birds, <laughs> to feed my deer. But, uh, and we sit out and we watch the deer because they cross from there and come right up through here and cross. Um, that old hay rake there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, that and that plow belonged to my great-grandfather. Um, I was hoping I could see the, watch Vinnie fall in, see the goldfish. I've got the goldfish in here. It was cheaper to do goldfish than it was to do uh, koi fish. That's an, another thing I don't know if people know in, in the state of Tennessee that uh, they don't want you to... Look at Vinny. He's after something. Uh, they don't want you to uh, release goldfish into the natural water. But here's my... You step, you... Send back out. You cross over, and the waterfall comes down, falls into here. It's really, it really looks awful right now, but it makes a curve and it goes on up and that stump is where the water comes out. And it's really pretty in the summertime, in the spring, especially when I get get the leaf blower out and blow out all the leaves and rocks and I've got a lot of stuff growing. Oh my God, Vinny. I cannot believe you done that. Now he jumped in the pond. But um, I built this sun may be in the way, but I, I built this little stone wall to go around it, and then steps that go down, and you go down the other side, but I've uh, got a lot of little farm equipment up here, you see the woods, we're surrounded out in the country, but we love it, love every bit of it, I don't see a whole lot of spring coming up, yeah, I do. I got buttercups coming up. All right. I like to see that. Yay. There's some more. That's great. Got a lot of sticks to pick up. But uh, it's our little piece of heaven, and we love it. Wouldn't change anything about it. Vinny feels good. He has fell in ice cold water and he feels good. But uh, I hope the little tip on the on the lowering the motor down as low as you can get it to drain the bottom, the prop, <clears throat> saves a lot of people. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get off here and take Vinny for a good walk. Take him down to the creek and let him fill that cold water. Y'all have a great day.